The Ten Commandments Moses receives God's law on Mount Sinai The account of Moses receiving the Ten Commandments is a central event in the biblical narrative illustrating the moment when God delivers his laws to Israel through Moses on Mount Sinai The Ascent to Mount Sinai after the Israelites had left Egypt and crossed the Red Sea, they came to Mount Sinai. God called Moses to the top of the mountain and gave him a message for the people. They had seen what he did to the Egyptians and how he carried them on eagles' wings and brought them to himself. Now, if they obeyed God, and kept his covenant, they would be his treasured possession among all peoples. The people affirmed their commitment to do whatever the Lord had spoken. Preparation and Theophathy God instructed Moses to concentrate, to consecrate the people. They were to wash their clothes and prepare for the third day when the Lord would descend upon Mount Sinai. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning, a thick cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp trembled and Moses led the people out to meet God. The Lord descended to the top of Mount Sinai and Moses went up. The Delivery of the Ten Commandments God spoke the Ten Commandments directly to the people from the mountain, enveloped in smoke and fire. The commandments were, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make yourself an idol. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honour your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbour. You shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. The people's fear and Moses' role as a mediator. The display of God's power was so overwhelming that the people trembled with fear and stood at a distance. They said to Moses, speak to us yourself and we will listen, but do not have God speak to us or we will die. Moses responded that the fear of God would be with them to keep them from sinning, and he approached the thick darkness where God was. Further instructions and covenant. God provided Moses with further laws and instructions on various aspects of life and worship. These included laws about altars, slaves, restitution, social justice, and the annual feasts. Moses then built an altar at the foot of the mountain, offered sacrifices, and read the Book of the Covenant to the people, who again committed to obedience. Moses then took the blood of the sacrifices and sprinkled it on the people, saying, this is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. Moses on the mountain. Moses went back up Mount Sinai where he stayed for 40 days and 40 nights. During this time, he received the stone tablets of the covenant law written by the finger of God. The Ten Commandments became the cornerstone 
of the Israelite legal system and ethical standards. They are seen as a direct expression of God's will and character, and they laid the foundation for the moral and spiritual conduct of the Israelite community. The narrative also emphasizes the holiness of God, the importance of obedience and the establishment of a covenant relationship between God and his chosen people. The giving of the law at Sinai is commemorated in Judaism by the festival of Shavuot and has been influential in the development of Western legal and ethical thought.